Then it's settled. You're gonna work here with me in the mansion. Well, that's what Gwen wants, right? Yes. Okay. And you check your school schedule, and we'll coordinate it with my work schedule so that you can maximize the time we spend on planning the wedding. Yes, we should make the most of our time together. <laughs> Whitney, I didn't see you there. Coming in. Hi there, Ethan. Uh, Whitney just came over to help me get my stuff. Oh, well, you've wasted a trip. Teresa's going to stay here and work with me. Oh, how great is that? Oh, excuse me, this might be business. Hello? Yes. Uh, Teresa, are you totally nuts? You cannot work here with Ethan. This was Gwen's idea. Yeah, but you are still in love with him, Teresa. If you hope to get over Ethan, you have to work on this wedding at your house. <laughs> I can't believe what I just heard. new dress, a day at the spa, and dinner at the best restaurant in Harmony. You are too good to me, Sam. I can never do enough to show you how much I love you. Mm. Mm. Now go get your hair done. We don't want to be late. Okay. You certainly hit it off in the husband uh, apartment. Don't I know it? But you know what? I still don't know what the occasion is. It's a, uh, just because I love you occasion. Really? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love you, Grace, and only you. Oh, no, Sam. You still love me. I know you do. And pretty soon, you'll know it, too. You my message? It, I know it was kind of late, but uh, I got it, your message. I got it loud and clear. And now I have a message for you, Louise. But I want you to listen very carefully because I don't want you to misunderstand any of it. Now, what did I do that would set Sheridan off like that? I keep going over and over, and, and, and it's just. You're overreacting, Father. Don't you dare tell me what I'm doing. The idea of your taking photos of Eve Russell. How could you be so careless, Julian? It's unbelievable, unforgivable. I told you, the photos are no more. I destroyed my copies and Eve lost hers. I don't believe in lost. Well, this Orville character got a hold of them and hid them in the statue of a bird. I like this less and less. Would you just let me finish, Father? Eve took care of the statue and she burned Orville's apartment down. There's no way this bird or the pictures inside could possibly survive. Sweetheart, this puzzle box is driving me nuts. I know you can help me open it. Come on. Promise me, Teresa, didn't you say you were going to help Ethan plan the wedding while I'm gone? Oh, but I, I am, Gwen. <laughs> well, then what was Whitney saying about you staying home? Oh, 
Uh, well, I, I was actually concerned that Therese was going to put her schoolwork on the back burner. Uh, but I so. won't because I've, I've come up with a way to uh, move my schedule around so I can take care of everything. Oh, right. <laughs> right. So it's all settled? Absolutely no problem. Oh, that is such a, that is such a relief. I'm so happy you're going to help Ethan put the wedding together. <laughs> Gwen. Hey, Ethan, I was just telling Teresa how happy I am that she's helping you put the wedding together while I'm away. Which is going to be sooner than later, I'm afraid. What? Your office called. They've pushed up your schedule. Great. You better go get packed. No, I've already sent my things ahead. I just have to hop on a flight. Okay. I'm leaving you in good hands. I still can't believe it, Teresa. You sketched up such a beautiful wedding in such a short amount of time. I mean, you even chose the music already. You are a true miracle worker. Thank you. So is this it? I don't even get a proper goodbye? Oh, well, you would get a hello when I get back. A long, proper hello. I've got to get you out of here, Teresa. I cannot allow you to put yourself through this kind of torture. I mean, sooner or later, Ethan and Gwen are going to realize that the wedding in that portfolio is actually your fantasy wedding to Ethan, not his to Gwen's. <sighs> oh, I better get going. Teresa, I'm going to be checking in with you while I'm gone, okay, to see how the wedding plans are coming along? Fine. Oh, thank you so much again for helping out. Sure, Gwen. Great. Oh. Well, I'll call you later, okay? All right. I love you. Bye. I gotta make some business calls, but I'll be working with you later? Definitely. All right. Looking forward to it, Teresa. I'm going to mark this time. Why? Because this moment marks the beginning of the end of Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. Mrs. Bennett. Hi, I'm Shelly. Uh, Shelly, hi, but please call me Grace. You've got great hair, Grace. Oh, you have a special look in mind, or do you want me to just go crazy? Um, well, I don't know about crazy. <laughs> How about something elegant and sexy with a touch of quirkiness to it? That sounds like a good plan. So what brings you in today? You're not a regular here. No, no, I'm not. Um, my husband set up the entire day for me. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like you have a sweet hubby there. Sam is the greatest. I'm lucky to have him. Tie that fella down, Grace. Don't let him get away. Uh, don't you worry. I'm not letting Sam go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Count your blessings, honey. I just heard about this woman, Maureen. Husband cheated on her, sent poor Maureen right over the edge. You mean Maureen Allen? You know her? Yeah, I, um, I, I just saw her at the hospital. That pig she married should be skinned alive. Yeah, her husband did a terrible thing. But, you know, the woman that he had the affair with was just as awful. I mean, she had to know that she was ruining a complete family and just busting them apart. What kind of woman would do such a terrible thing? Oh, honey, it's the hospital. I'll be right back. Oh, baby, but you made me a promise. And I'm gonna hold you to it. You said you would model this for me. Well, I will. Oh, sweetheart, but tonight. <laughs> oh, honey. Mm. I promised you a romantic evening and nothing is going to get in the way. Oh. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right, Birdie. I am gonna solve your puzzle find out what you're hiding. <laughs> if those pictures ever surfaced... They won't, Father. You're finished in this family. I want you to be clear about that, Julian. There's no way I'll ever let you ruin the Crane Empire. This is all academic, Father. I'm sick and tired of scandals. The pictures are kaput. Keeping Sheridan away from Luis in order not to expose certain family secrets has taken much too much of my valuable time. Was that my fault? Did I have anything to do with Luis and Sheridan getting together? <laughs> it's the one thing you're not responsible for. It is so unfair, Father. I'll tell you what's unfair, Julian. By cleaning up your messes. <sighs> it's all in the past, Father, I promise you. 
There'll be no more trouble. Not for me, at least. My family. The Crane name means everything to me. Unlike Sharon, would risk disaster by associating with Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. What's this about me and Luis? You know, you're right. My son, the workaholic. Hey, Mama. Just about to pack it in. Martin Fitzgerald? Have you reopened your father's case? No. I'm closing the case on Papa's imposter. I just want to wrap this up, bury it in some file, and never think about it again. It was such a horrible night. I still have nightmares about it. Yeah. I thought it was Papa, too. I don't know if I would have ever been able to get over the guilt. Let my father die to save Sheridan? No, Mijo, you did the right thing. Yeah, but what if it had been him? You know, I, I would have let my own father die to save someone who, who was practically just a stranger to me. Well, it could be that Sheridan wasn't that much of a stranger. Maybe deep down in your heart, she meant more to you than your own father. What are you saying about Luis? Uh, Father and I are just relieved that you were able to see Luis for what he truly is. Before he could cause you any more trouble, darling. Yes, you really dodged a bullet there, Sheridan. I have to admit, I was wrong about Luis. Well, you weren't alone, dear sister. Luis has deceived most of the good citizens of Harmony. If I hadn't heard him with my own ears, heard him say that he was using me, I never would have believed you and Father about Luis. Trust me, it's all there. I hope you're not going to count every bill, because I'm getting sick of looking at that face of yours. 
Oh, no problem, Mr. Gray. So expensive. <laughs> I'm glad you overheard that phone conversation. You spared yourself a great deal of heartache. I just came by to tell you that I'm leaving for Europe tomorrow. Really? Did you hear that, Father? Indeed I did, dear. If that's what will make you happy, then I'm happy too. As am I, Sheridan. You've always felt more at home there. Go to the continent. Have yourself some fun. Will I be seeing you there, Father? Well, heaven knows I'd love to spend time with my lovely daughter, but... Uh... You're busy. I can't remember a time when you weren't busy, Father. I'm sorry, Sheridan. It's just a, a meeting that I simply can't postpone. Save it, Father. She left. Make sure nothing changes her mind, Julian. I want Sheridan on a flight out of Harmony tomorrow. It will be done. Stop saying that. Every time you do, things get screwed up. Father, oh, you're, you're being... And don't tell me I'm being unfair. Just follow through on this. Trust me, Father. Tomorrow night, our Sheridan will be dining at Tour d'Argent. Keep on top of that photo business, Julian. Double, triple check to make sure that Eve was right and that that bird statue was really destroyed. If any of those photos are ever found, it could bring down the entire Craid Empire. And T.C. Russell will drag you down along with it. <laughs> Hello. So what do we have here? Uh, yeah, honey. I'm sorry, honey. I'm needed at the hospital. Oh, sweetheart, please don't tell me that our romantic evening has been scrapped. I am going to take my dress with me. I'm going to change there, and you're going to pick me up when you're ready. Okay? Mwah. I'll see you later, handsome. Oh, baby, you can count on it. Mm, mm. Oh. Bertie. You got a reprieve, okay? Whatever secrets you have inside of you is gonna have to wait. Because I have a date with the most beautiful woman in this world. I get what you later. <laughs> there was something missing from this file. I'll be right back. Hi, Whitney. Teresita. Mama. Don't tell me that another one of my children is sad tonight. Uh, it's Ethan. <laughs> He's the reason you have that look on your face. Oh, you just have to be strong. You'll get over him. Ask God for help, if need be. Hey, sis. Whitney. Hey, Louise. What's up? I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you use the gift certificate that I won at the church raffle and take Teresa and Whitney to the seascape tonight? Seascape? Oh, that would be great. <laughs> All right. That's a great idea. We'll be the envy of every man there with these two beautiful women on my own. Here. I have to talk to you. I was just leaving. You can't leave. You have to stay here in harmony. You don't ever give up. Look, this is your home. This is where you belong, not Paris. Ethan, we've been through this already so yeah. many times. And I still don't understand it. Well, I do, and that's all that matters. I'm gonna miss you. What am I gonna do without my favorite aunt around here? When's Gwen leaving? Shouldn't be getting on the plane uh, right about now. Oh, these next couple months.
it's going to be really hard for you with her traveling so much. Well, I have a lot of work to do, and plus I have to finish planning the wedding. It's a good thing she arranged for Teresa to work with me. At least one of us had good luck with the Lopez Fitzgerald. At least it's still on your mind. You sure you shouldn't go back and try to talk to him? No, Ethan. I don't ever want to see that man again. I don't even want to be in the same room with him. Ah! Good! You're here. Lucky me. I won't have to call either one of you. Julian? Julian! You called, light of my life? Yes. I want us all to get dressed. We're going to the Seascape restaurant for dinner. Oh, we are. Yes. I thought we should give Sheridan a proper send-off. You know, wish your bon voyage. The Seascape, Ivy? Hmm? Why? <laughs> Chief Bennett. This is Bennett. Welcome to the Seascape. Thank you. If you'll follow me. Of course. One night Ivy can't wait. You're welcome. Well, we're gonna get ready. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Well, I hope this dinner takes your mind off Sheridan. I'm just happy the girls are excited about going. Hey, you know what the best part of tonight is? All the free food? No, silly. It'll give you a chance to get your mind off of Ethan. And then if you're really, really lucky, maybe you'll meet some cute guy at the seascape, and you'll forget all about him. Well, we can't exactly send Sheridan off to Paris without a, a proper goodbye. Well, no. Mother, but the seascape. I'm not sure Sheridan would want to go there. That's where she almost fell through the ceiling and died. I'm... That's okay, Ethan. I would love to go, Ivy. I'm sure it'll be fun. It gives you excuse. <laughs> yes, I'm really not up for going out to dinner tonight. I have other things to take care of. Well, unless you want Sheridan to know that Alistair hired an imposter to make her think that Louise was using her to get to the grains, mm -hmm. I suggest you put on your very best toothpaste grin and act like a charming host. Yes, since you put it that way. Mm-hmm. Well, it's all going to move on. I can't wait to go. It's going to be a wonderful evening. Well, I, I think I've pretty much packed all my dresses, but I'm sure I could find something. Oh. I'll go change. You're up to something, Ivy, and I will find out what. Oh, I think I'm going to have the um, Oysters Rockefeller to start. There's a reason you want to go to the seascape tonight, and it has nothing to do with my fair sister. No, oh, yes, there is a reason, Julian. A very, very good reason. And you will never find out what it is. Now, go change for dinner. This has been the most amazing, perfect day. And it completely pampered me at this spa. <laughs> I love my new dress. You look gorgeous. And now, a sumptuous feast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what could be more romantic? Mrs. Bennett? Oh, my. <laughs> I guess that qualifies as more. <laughs> Are those all for me? With all my love. Sam, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy Thank your you. dinner. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shelley was right. You are the most wonderful husband of the year, of the millennium. Mm. And you are the only woman for me. You deserve an evening out, and nothing is going to stop you from having it. Mm. Mm. This is it. Oh, Sam, you don't know what you're in for. I think this will be an evening you 
remember the rest of your life. Oh, I think I gained an ounce just walking in here. Do you remember the last time we were here? Our dates got so drunk it was it was a total disaster. Except for even taking me home. Teresa, don't don't even start, okay? Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. <laughs> How's it going? Well, I hope no troubles anticipated tonight. No. Strictly off duty. As you can see, I'm here with the two most beautiful women in harmony. Well, no one could possibly argue that. Yes. Allow me to show you to a table. You guys go on with them. I'll join you in a couple minutes. I gotta check out something to do with the Martin Imposter case. So I close the file. I won't take long. shortly with the menu. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You know what? Four guys noticed you on the way over to the table. <laughs> really? I didn't notice. Well, honey, start, okay? I mean, I'm telling you, this is just the thing you needed. Going out, having guys notice you. <laughs> you know what? I bet you that you'll meet someone tonight that will take your breath away. It'll sweep you off your feet. <laughs> and then that Ethan guy will be nothing but a distant memory. I'm not sure I can ever forget about you, then. Well, you have to try, Teresa. Just take things one step at a time, okay? And the first step is being somewhere that Ethan isn't. To us. Forever. Well, well, well. Well, here is a happy couple. Uh, you see. Uh -huh. Hey, guys, we know you're going to be here tonight. Well, it looks like our romantic husbands had the same idea. Well, it wasn't my plan. Eve did it. Well, I thought it was about time I showed TC how special he is to me <laughs> and how much I appreciate him. <laughs> oh, baby, keep going because you're on a roll. <laughs> well, that's exactly why I brought Grace. To show her that she is the only woman that well, I guess that shows that we're all here with who we're supposed to be with. <laughs> the worst thing about this place is the parking. I don't trust the attendants. I told the head ballet if I found a dent in that car. Is our table ready, Ethan? Two minutes. And the cranes actually have to wait for a table. This world's going to hell in a handbasket. Please, Julian, the wit will be worth it. Tonight's going to be an unforgettable evening. Keep quiet or I'll blow your head off. The ladder. Move it. No! Keep moving! Drop the gun, or I'll shoot Martin. Come on! You wouldn't shoot your old man, would you? Who are you going to choose, Louise? Your father or someone from a family who destroyed my life? Took your mother's happiness! Choose, Louise! Stop! Look out behind you! Sheridan, if you'd rather not stay, then just say so. No, Ethan, I'm fine. Besides, Ivy's been looking forward to tonight. I, I don't want to spoil it for her. Never mind my mother. If you don't want to be here because it reminds you of Luis, then we should go. No. I'm not going to let Luis ruin a pleasant evening out. You sure you shouldn't try and talk to him Positive. again? Positive. Maybe clear things no. up? Get some closure? Ethan, it's over. I mean, how much more closure do I need than that? I have to admit, I have my ulterior motives. A lawyer with ulterior motives? I'm shocked. If you can get past this thing with Luis, maybe you'll stay here in harmony. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna miss you so much. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too, Ethan. You know, I'm gonna go outside for a minute. You all right? I'm fine. I just need to get some air. I'll meet you at the table.
It's all right. It's all right. Shouldn't go. Oh, should be back in a minute. I'm going to call Gwen, uh, see if she got in all right. I'll see you at the table. Whitney, Teresa, hello. Ethan, hi. Well, you didn't say anything about coming here tonight. Uh, no, it, it was just, it was a last minute thing. Hmm. I can't believe we keep running into each other like this. <laughs> uh, Whitney's right. Looks like we can't keep away from each other, can we, Teresa? <laughs> it is odd that we keep running into each other. It's serendipity. And yeah, like a happy accident. I suppose it is. Are you here alone? No, I'm uh, here with my parents and Aunt Sheridan. We're having a last-minute farewell party. Sheridan's really leaving Harmony? Tomorrow. Yes, terribly. I know some people who miss her, too. Well, um, I better go. I, am uh, gonna call Gwen, see if she got in all right. Right. Gwen. Mm -hmm. Teresa, would you save me a dance for later? Sure. Great. Because I really enjoyed the last one we had when we were here. Me, too. All right. I'll see you later. Bye, Whitney. It is unbelievable. What is? That Ethan would be here again at the same time that you are. I told you it's serendipity. You know, I never heard you use that word before. Oh, it's, it's in the same book I'm reading. Do you even know what it means? Yes, even Ethan said it's a happy accident. accident. Yeah, that is the key word here, Teresa. Accident. A, a fluke, a undescribable, unbelievable thing, you know? Don't read any more into it than that. Any more into it? Yeah, I know exactly what you're thinking. That it's fate. Whitney, I know you hate that word, but the fact is we came here tonight to try to find some guy to help me take my mind off of Ethan, but then who shows up? Ethan. So, something keeps throwing us together, and something's not letting me forget about Ethan. You can call it what you want, but I'm going to call it what it is. It's fate. Capital F-A-T-E, fate. I'll be, I'll right, be right back. back. Uh, I'll meet I'll you at the table. Oh, fine. Mm. Now, how many times have TC and I gone out for a romantic evening, and we run into you guys doing the exact <laughs> same thing? I'd have to say more often than not. Which proves great minds. Like I said, it wasn't my call. It was Eve's. And there's another one of Eve's calls. <laughs> Oh, it's the hospital. Some champagne, TC? I'll have a way to bring more glasses. No, I think I'll wait until I find out what's happening with Eve. The battery must be dead. I have to use a payphone. I won't be long. You know, Eve, I'll go with you. I want to freshen up. But I left my lipstick in my coat. You know what? I'll get it. I have the coat check ticket. Uh, what pocket was it in? I think it was the left. Okay. Thanks. Ladies. Hey, Sammy, I'm glad things are going great with you and Grace. Well, you know what? Things couldn't be better. I mean, thanks to Eve for not telling Grace about seeing Ivy and me. I mean, what good would come from it, huh? Yeah, well, especially uh, to hear what Grace learned from her friend, Maureen. Who? Eve didn't tell you? Yeah. Grace ran into Maureen Allen at the hospital after Charity was released. Seems the poor woman ended up in a psych ward after she found out her husband was cheating on her for years. Grace said she couldn't handle a betrayal like that. So the worst thing that could happen is my past with Ivy comes out. I mean, we were over long before I even met Grace. Sam, I know that nothing ever happened with you and Ivy since you've been married to Grace. God, no. I mean, you and I feel the same way about marriage. It is forever. <sighs> Man, do you remember when Chad has suggested that Eve was with Julian Crane? <sighs> Man, if I even thought that Julian Crane was to touch my wife, I would rip his heart out. TC, calm down. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. I just I lose it sometimes. Okay. 
Listen, I have a lipstick to deliver. Let me say we go find our wives and tell them how much we love them. Let's do it. Too hard to find. Grace. <laughs> and what are you doing here? I came to remind you of what we want to share. No, no, get... both have some unfinished business. Yes. Yeah. It's better you finish it alone. I'll get out of your way. No, Luis, wait. What for? There's something that we need to talk about. There's something that I need to tell you before I leave for Paris. <laughs> 